Welcome Switch Fitters to another Switch Fitness video with your coach James and we are on day two, day two of our couch to press up workout week. Okay guys, we're doing five workouts this week. Hopefully you've done day one. If you haven't done day one, go back and have a little look at that video guys. Okay, because we're going to be going through some very basic exercises, working on developing some of the strength that you need in order to be able to do a press up. Now don't worry if by the end of the five days that you can't do a full press up, the goal is progression. So if you're doing them on your knees, hopefully, if at the start of the week you could do 20 press ups on the knees for one minute, hopefully by the end of it, maybe you could do 30 or 40. It's some kind of progression. And even if you're doing one more, that means that you guys are improving. So in the first video, we were doing press ups off the knees. You were writing that down. We were doing tricep dips using the chair. And we also did some shoulder rotations as well, working on a lot of those key areas. Goal of today, again, looking at some of those key areas that you need to, to be able to do a full press up, which is our ultimate, ultimate goal, even if you don't do it in a five days. Okay, so we are gonna start off with exercise number one, which is the press up variation, and we are gonna be going for the lowering phase of the press up. Okay guys, so for the lowering phase, I will show you the form that we wanna do for that minute of best effort, okay guys, and we'll go from there. This is all about working the negative of the repetition, okay? And it's very, very, very good on the core, as well as working some of those opposite muscle groups that you need to be able to do the full press up. Okay, a lot of people struggle with the lowering part. So you're gonna start off in full position, even if you can't do a full press up, we're starting off in that full position, okay? Which is this position here with the weight forward, not like this weight forward and your goal is to lower yourself down nice and slow collapse on the floor and then just push up off the knees okay you can take the weight off and then posture back up lower down nice and slow go on the knees to push back up we don't really want the resistance on the way back up unless you're doing this maybe for the second or third time you don't need to do that okay it's about getting some kind of stimulus okay so we're going to do that we've got a minute we're going to start that in five four three let's do this guys two one, and let's rock and roll. So lowering down slowly, push up off the knees. Up, lower down slowly. Try and give that resistance and push up hard. So it's really important that you try your best not to collapse. But don't worry if you are collapsing at first. If you get a little bit of a collapse, so for example, if you're there and you're going, Ugh, like that, that's no problem. The point at which we know to lower down on the knees is when you're here and you can't even bend the arms and you're collapsing before you go down. Or if your hips are going down, like that and then you're collapsing you want to make sure that your chest is the first thing to touch the floor guys okay if at that point you're just collapsing from there all I want you to do is stay on the knees and lower yourself down slowly on the knees chest touches and push back up from there okay take the weight off the arms and then again lower down slowly push back up lower down slowly push back up lower down slowly Push back up. We're nearly there, five more seconds. Lower down slowly, give that resistance. Push back up. If you can go back on the toes, do it. Lower down slowly, push back up. Good, and time. That is your minute. So, get yourself a little sip of water if you've done it, guys. Okay, well done. Hopefully, hopefully you're getting some really good form when you're doing that exercise. Form is key. Form is key, especially when you train with me, guys, okay? Very important, you slow things down and you do what you're capable of doing but in a way which is gonna progress you. So hopefully you're keeping your elbows in, lowering down. If you were collapsing or hips were touching the floor first, just drop on the knees and keep those shoulders, hips and knees in a perfect line. Okay, so we've got another 20 seconds or so until we get into the next one. So next up we're gonna do a tricep dip, but this time we're gonna do it with a leg raised. So if you're working with us yesterday, we did tricep dip with no leg raised. So get yourself a couch or a chair. If you can do it with your fingers forward, guys, that would be perfect, like so. But if you can't, because of the nature of the chair, just put your hands on the outside. It does make it a little bit more difficult. So we want to see a minute where one leg is raised like so, and you're getting down a little bit deeper as a result. So let's go in three, two, one, and go guys, okay? So I want you to make sure that you're getting that full bend on the elbows. We don't want rocking forward and backwards. We've got one minute to do this, guys. So I want that minute to be a really, really, really good minute. Get that bend going back, keep the leg up raised. And if after five or so, you need to change the legs that you're raising, that's no problem at all. So I'll demonstrate as you guys are going for it there, leg up, bend down, get deep, and extend up. Bend down, get deep, and extend up. And again, down, deep. Another 30 seconds or so to go, let's do this. Down deep, push up. Down deep, push up. If you need to change legs, that's fine. Down deep, push up. And again, we're nearly there. So you should be getting that burn all down the back of the arms now, guys, okay? We've got 15 seconds to go. I want it to be the best 15 seconds that you've ever done, okay? Really try and progress. Let's keep that goal in mind. We want to be able to do the press up. So get that in your mind, and let's just go. 
the fastest you can, in good form. Make sure you're not rocking forward and backwards. We've got another five seconds. So five, four, three, two, and time. So the triceps are very, 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 very important for when you're doing that press up, because of course it's a pushing movement. When you're doing that pushing movement, you're engaging all your chest as you go forward like so, but also using the backs of the arms and the shoulders. So the final exercise of day two of this five day workout couch to press up, we are gonna be going into shoulder rotations as we did yesterday. However, this time we're gonna go backwards. So we're working different muscle groups again. So you've got another 20 seconds or so before we do this. Let's take some nice big deep breaths. Feel good about what you're doing, because you're doing it. If you're here watching this video, you are ahead of everybody else who isn't here watching this video. Bear that in mind, okay? Big deep breaths. Shake the arms off. Give yourself a little massage. That's it, feeling good. Get your head in the zone. And let's get ready to rock and roll team, okay? We're gonna do this together. Make sure again, you don't arch the back as you do this. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, and let's go for it. One minute, guys. Footballs going to the rear. Make sure it is a football. I don't want to see small little movements yet because that's going to be one of the progressions. If you're doing that, then you're ahead of the game. We don't want you ahead of the game right now, okay? Unless, of course, this is your second or third time of doing these. Which point, if you're doing this challenge for the second or third time, then yes, taking the progressions earlier, trying to do more, that's how you're gonna make improvements. You wanna get fast and hard, guys, because you wanna get towards the end of that minute and feel like, do you know what, I need to put my arms down. If you need to put your arms down in the meantime, try and dig in, but when the form goes, let's say your arms are going over the place where you need to do this, or go like that, okay? Just get yourself down, shake off, back in there, and circle, let's go. So we've got another 20 seconds. So let's really try to get as much from this as you can, because when you've done this, you can shake off and you're done. These videos are perfect, perfect to do just before you go to work, maybe on your lunch break, or maybe in the evening when you've not got a lot of time, just after you put the kids to bed, so then you can relax for the rest of it. So five seconds with me, guys. Five, four, get ready to pat yourself on the back. In two, one, well done you. Well done, everybody. Okay, guys, so that was day two of your challenge looking at some very specific exercises which are going to help you on your road to be able to do that full press up, which is the ultimate goal. If at the end of this week you are doing more, then you have executed the plan. So I look forward to seeing you all back day three. Very much looking forward to it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll see you tomorrow.